Let's start already. Hi, this is Phil, and I'm here to tell you all about the Capes and Lunatics Patreon. Don't miss out on our comic book creator interviews, including our monthly Chichester chats with comic book legend D.G. Chichester, superhero movie brackets, and our search for the worst comic book movie of all time, and many, many more specials, all completely uncensored. Access starts for $3 a month, full video when you pledge $5 a month. Check out the link in our show notes or go to patreon.com slash capesandlunatics. Hope to see you there. This is Lil Hellfire, and you're listening to the Capes and Lunatics Summer 69. Nine, 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 nine. Uh, if anything was on brand for 69, it would be Daredevil, wouldn't it? <laughs> it would. Matthew Murdoch. <laughs> Worst of all, Matthew Michael Murdoch. Ah, uh, the triple the alliteration. That's right, Damn kids. Stan. <laughs> Welcome back to another episode of. Uh, the devil you know the daredevil podcast i am phil joining me as always that other the devil of hell's kitchen aka florida it is <laughs> hell's waiting room little hellfire yes all right kids so yes yeah, summer of i don't know what mr fear thought he was doing but oh it gets wackier it gets wackier doesn't it always? Yes. So, yes, kids. No new Daredevil yet. Uh, issue one comes out this coming week. So, allegedly. Uh, by, by the time you hear this, it should be out. So, yes, maybe next episode we'll talk Daredevil number one. By, 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 by new writer, Chip Zdarsky. <laughs> I love that. I just see an article. They're like, how, we, how are we going to justify new number one when it's the same writer? <laughs> Everything changes. Everything's different. That's pretty much the ta- what they're all new, all doing. different Daredevil. Hey, it's a brand new uh, gag. You know, he he he's no longer Matt Murdock. Uh, that's not a new gag. We've we've done this several times. No kidding. Six summer of sixty nine. Uh, Chichester, new writer. Who is Russell? Has to be Russell. Probably. Give him the thumb. All right, kids. So let's get into this because we got like six issues. All right. Uh, so yes, this will wrap up summer of '69 for Daredevil this time. No, no, no. I'm just gonna say I don't know what's worse, Matthew Michael Murdock or Star Saxton. Star with two R's. I don't. I don't know which one is worse. Quite honestly, for the alliteration. J. Jonah Jameson. No, he's the goat. First of all. Oh, true. That that that's what everybody tries to live up to and fails. Yeah. Mm. Fin Fang Foom. Just because it's racist. That's the that's the bottom bar. A dragon in purple pants. <laughs> yeah. They will... Remember, purple is the color of evil. Star is a poor name. Oh, just Russell. If that's you. Hang tight. And cause... is. I and will... is. <laughs> we will inform you in a little bit, Russell. Star Saxon becomes some another known marvel villain so stay tuned yeah that's why i'm just like mr F- i'm like star saxon wait a minute no, 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 no. oh yeah <laughs> all right so let's get into this daredevil number 50 volume one number 54 from july, july 69 july 19 right on time hey well call him dot 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 fear they call me mr fear <laughs> <laughs> But his real name is Sam, so whatever. <laughs> Sam Fear. <laughs> uh, writer, Roy Thomas. Because Stan's had enough. Re- Penciler what do you Gene- got for old Roy? <laughs> Penciler, Gene Colan, letterer, Artie Simic, and editor, Stan Lee. Let's be honest, he really wasn't doing too much. Exactly. On the editor front. He's like, well, yeah, it's fine. He was still it's writing fine. 20, he was still writing 20 bucks. <laughs> He just put a stamp on it. It's fine. That's why there's typos in every last one of them. <laughs> like nobody's, nobody's showing their dong. Okay, you're good. All right. Uh, oh god. Yes. Faking his own death in a plane Again. in a plane crash of his own making. You know, every other time he's had like an extra body handy, but now now it's just like, oh, I'm faking my death. <laughs> Uh, of his uh, of his own making, Matt Murdock has decided to live only under the identity of Daredevil. I mean, he was doing that anyway, if we're being honest. Exactly. Oh, yeah, true. 
true. <laughs> well, you know, he shows up to the office for five minutes, you know. The cat and Foggy is annoyed. He's like, Ugh, just you're just a silent <laughs> partner at this point, bro. <laughs> no, remember Foggy's DA now, so that's why he's taking yeah. his F. He's like, I've got no partner to hold me up now. <laughs> Maybe maybe that Daredevil can get uh, endorsements for like you know Wheaties or something. <laughs> uh, showing up at the DA's office to find his walking stick, he finds a grieving Karen Page who wants to keep it as a keepsake. She wants to keep his uh, walking stick. stick. Uh, Daredevil then follows her home and sneaks in at night while she is asleep and steals it back. What oh, yeah. an absolute asshat. He stole, well, he, yeah, snuck into her bedroom while she's sleeping, kids. Real charming. I don't want to say creep, but... I know, wouldn't she be like, oh, wait, where'd that walk... You know, it meant so much to her. She's like, wouldn't she be like, where's that walking stick? She should have She should have kept it in her prison post. Whoa! He would have found it there, to be honest, though. Hey, oh. It's in his prison purse. <laughs> I think the pants come off next. <laughs> what can I get? How can I convince you to give me that locking stick? <laughs> Cue Lil's Hellfire's hard drive. <laughs> Ableism, be real. <laughs> after a brief, uh, after a brief fight with some common thieves and giving a brief assist to Spider-Man. Spider-Man Spider is random. <laughs> Okay, again, that's almost who... as bad as just Johnny Johnny freaking Storm showing up. Yeah, but it's Spider Man. We know who's buttering the muffin over there, little Hill. Oh yeah, that ain't my business. Yeah, this is before Wolverine, before Punisher, before Ghost Rider. We know what guest stars. But book. no, for real, it was really random. <laughs> I know, I I know he's on the cover. I'm like, oh, he's gonna be like an integral part of this story. And it's like, w wait, really? I think Bait he spends and more... switch. Bait I think. <laughs> I think Spider-Man shows up longer in that Punisher video game. Ooh. <sighs> After, yes, uh, and giving a brief assist to Spider-Man, Daredevil soon hears about a challenge being posted by his foe, Mr. Fear. He eventually accepts Fear's challenge, and the two get into a fight. However, during the course of combat, Daredevil suddenly becomes a coward and runs away. Boo! Tomatoes, tomatoes! Hmm. I wonder how why that would possibly happen. Says the man without fear. Uh, okay, so I just hmm, have to Mr. say I want my money back. Mr. Fear. Hmm, I the man without fear. Could there be a connection? He is amazing for a reason. Yeah, amazing at self promotion. Just as J. Jonah James. <laughs> what he got rid of Matt Murdock. He no longer has that big double D energy. I'm gonna be real. Peter Parker gives off bottom energy. Whoa! <laughs> For who? For Mary Jane. Hey -oh. <laughs> oh. Oh. Apparatus. <laughs> International Women's Day. I got you. Damn. He's amazing for. Oh. <laughs> He's amazing for a reason. That would be Superman, actually. Oh, that's right. For for Batman himself. Exactly. You know Batman, right, Russell? Batman. My favorite character. Into the Dark Knight. All to do with Batman. <laughs> You're a star, Ray. Into the Dark Knight. All to do with Batman. You love Batman, right? Go ahead. Throw it in. Ray was like, I was just trying to have a good time, bro. He had to go and ruin it with his fancy man wand. All right, so cry any... coward, eh? <laughs> any, any, yeah. I was gonna say, any thoughts on fifty four? Should we move to fifty five? No, just keep moving. This is nothing it's, be said. It's basically just fakes his death. Oh, hey, Mister Fear showing up. He's just trying to get away from Karen. That's A lot what of... we all know. He had to get his stick back. Hey, well. All right, so yeah, Daredevil number fifty five uh, from August nineteen sixty nine. Cry coward. Or so are they saying say coward or cry you coward? Cry you coward. Okay. Yeah, same cre oh wait, I was gonna say same creative team, but no, Roy, Roy and Gene are here. Anchor Sid Shores. Uh Artie's that is. Ah uh, yeah, everyone else is the same, but fill in. All right. And semi hiding. With a semi, Daredevil re recovers from his battle against Mister Fear. Daredevil stops an attempted mugging. 
During the fight, he has a sudden bout of debilitating fear, and the muggers gain the upper hand until the police break things up. <laughs> wow. Uh, Didi is uh, balked by all the spectators who label him a coward, all influenced by the negative press labeling him as a chicken. <laughs> Uh, who's who's calling him that, Jameson? Show that chicken. At least Robertson. At least a Robertson or two. No oh, lie. All right, I'll say it. Oh yeah. What? <laughs> Superheroes are propaganda, but it's okay. It's our propaganda. True. Just like SVU. Long live Elliot and freaking Olivia, by the way. Ah, I know. Huh? Might, only, might take him 20 minutes. Finally! Exactly. Spencer has happened! Finally! Might take him 20 some years. Uh, Alright, so. Oh, it's not even in the notes. Okay, I'm going to have to do this at the end of the He's day. Like, I'm going to have to do this my way. <laughs> my way? No, I'm the who, the who stars Saxon becomes. Alright, uh. Wondering how he could defeat Mr. Fear, Daredevil visits the district attorney's office and asks Foggy Nelson for a favor and has the warden read him the Not foul. Not a sexual favor. Pipe down. Whoa! Uh, and asks the warden to read him the foul on Zoltan Drago, the identity of the original Mr. Fear. Uh, Imagine still Mr. Fear, bro. When Mr. Fear... T- Hey, uh, Russell, we're doing a Mr. Fear episode in uh, August on Spider-Cast, so you're welcome. Uh, when Mr. Fear attempts to rob an armored car, Daredevil is there to stop him. During the fight, Daredevil informs Mr. Fear that he knows that he isn't Zoltan Drago, the original, because the original Mr. Fear had a fear of heights. <laughs> <laughs> and would never use a flying device like the one they are fighting on. During the course of the fight, Daredevil unmasks Mr. Fear, revealing him to be Star Saxon. His plot foiled, Star jumps off the floating platform to his apparent death. I don't know, you knew his identity, kid. You knew it was coming. Daredevil then reveals that Star placed Fear capsules in the Billy Club while it was in his possession, and that they were the cause of his bouts of cowardice. Yeah... I, I prefer him when he's fighting Magneto and Red Skull, but that's just my... Oh, it's not Russell. It's the power of Chad. Oh, why did... Oh. <laughs> Where have you been hiding yourself, kid? The power of Chad, 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 Chad. Chad, Chad. Chad. You, may be, could be, you may be getting called into service, because I think Ray's already talking about another game show for episode 300. Ooh. Can't believe he beat us to it. <laughs> hey oh. Well, again, if you added up everything we did, it would be well. Oh over yeah, we're in the thousands. Up. Yeah. Just ask our YouTube channel. Hey, oh, oh yeah. All right. So, thoughts on this little hellfire or? Uh, uh you know what... no. Just do keep you... going. It gets no, worse. No, no, no. Do you know what becomes of Star Saxon? Besides that fight with Magneto and Red Skull. What? Yeah, he gets into a fight with Magneto and Red Skull. Oh, well. That's where I know him from. When he, fall, when he falls off this platform, his robotic minions. Like, they minions. just keep stealing the, like, everybody steals that identity. So it's just kind of like. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But no, no Star Saxon, and his robotic minions were programmed to save his life. His body is broken. He he fell. He hit the ground. And it's like, uh, yes, they digitize his consciousness. And he becomes the villain known as Machine Smith. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Okay. I didn't know if everybody. <laughs> I'm like, it's not even in the notes for this. I'm like, what the hell? Because it, it doesn't matter. Uh, Who's ever seen a Machine Smith cosplay? That's all I'm saying. I know. I know. We're going to have to get to that Captain America issue for Charlie Esther. Yeah, y'all can do all the weird bloop while I'm gone. Well, on Avengers, you're never really. <laughs> oh, my God. But So, wait. So, Machine Smith knows who Matt is? I guess he doesn't so care. Second issue, point. Fool's Drunk. Well, to be fair. Well, you don't put your name up, fool. <laughs> Random Facebook user. <laughs> uh, all right. Fifty-six. Fifty-six. All right. Oh, not backwards, forwards. 
What is this, an R. Kelly song? I mean, an Aaliyah song? My bad. My I didn't pee on anybody. All right. Uh, all right. So, oh, God. Look at this cover. Daredevil. A Black Panther flashback. Chef's kiss. This is so random. These these issues are so damn random. Daredevil 56. Oh, God. September 1969. And that's him riding. Don't we know it? <laughs> 969, love. <laughs> yes. Dot, dot, dot. And death came riding. Uh, same creative team as last issue. With Star Saxon dead, uh huh, and his secret identity secure, Daredevil plans on proposing to Karen Page. However. Wait, did you die, bro? Aren't you dead, bro? <laughs> exactly. However, when he runs. Well, now he doesn't have to. He faked his death for five minutes and Star Saxon died. <laughs> you might have overreacted. Just, just a little bit. However, when he rides it to him, was that just, just like Roy going, no, no, I'm not, no, I'm not, I'm not doing this whole, oh, Matt Murdock's dead for six months. No. Uh, yeah. Somebody had to put their foot down. Hey, well. However, when he arrives at the district attorney's office, Foggy informs him Karen returned home to grieve over the loss of Matt Murdock, whom she believes is dead after Daredevil faked it. Hey, well. Ugh. <laughs> Well, wasn't she starting to suspect? I don't know. When, when we, Karen... we don't talk about it. I know. It's the Gwen Stacy effect at this point. Every oh my... blonde is an idiot. Oh, my God. And she's like Sharon Carter because I believe uh, her family lived in like Virginia or something. So it's. Stan could only write what he knew. <laughs> All these small town girls moving to the big city. Ah, when Karen arrives home, she is briefly attacked by a glowing skeletal creature calling itself Death's, Death's Head. Head. That's right up Daredevil's Alley. I'm just saying, if you know, you know. <laughs> oh! Matt needs to fake everything by now. <laughs> what are you saying? A little spit on the back, uh, Chad? <laughs> uh, a little donkey punch never hurt nobody. <laughs> <laughs> Karen would get set. Karen would get many in the years to come. Kind of donkey push now, bitch. Uh, God, yes, Death's Head because Ghost Rider hadn't been invented yet. Uh, the creature warns her to to leave before it's too late. Before disappearing, arriving at her parents' house. Karen, I don't know if we've ever seen these parents since. Karen's no. mother. Karen, <laughs> I don't think they were even at her funeral. Well, she had turned to drugs and being a porn a porn star, so. But then she turned it around. She became a, a no, uh, radio, radio no, host. No, no, Once you do that, oh. you get disowned. Well, it's that time, honestly. The Scarlet Letter. Oh yeah, yeah. Uh, oh yeah, but yeah. Oh yeah, that was all revealed in the eighties. Yeah. Care. Uh. They're hiring her parents' house. Karen's mother informs her that her father has been kidnapped by Death's Head over a cobalt weapon he was developing. Your father, your father invented a MacGuffin. <sighs> Sir, it could have been just, oh hey, we have money, and he want they want money. It's like, <laughs> nope, we gotta have a MacGuffin. What's a Daredevil? What's a random Daredevil issue without a MacGuffin? You need the money, Jimmy. Look at you, life tablet, Spider Man. <laughs> uh, arriving to find Karen, Daredevil gets info. What gets into his own clash with Death's Head, who issues Daredevil with the same warning before disappearing once more. Arriving at the Page House, Daredevil promises to save them from the threat of Death's Head. Battling the creature once more, Daredevil is easily bested by the creature, who dresses him up in his in its own costume and puts him on his horse. When the police arrive on the scene, Death's Head sends Daredevil, dressed up as Death's Head, towards the police who begin shooting. What's he, an unarmed black teenager? Oh! Well, his head's covered, man. They don't know. Again, my hands are ready to eat for everyone. Yeah, Death's Head's complicated, Chad. I mean, wasn't that like a UK thing? And then it's like it, he showed up in Transformers, then he showed up elsewhere in the Marvel Universe. There's Death's Head 2. And no Death one cares. Had, Death had two guests. Oh. Uh, all right. So, thoughts on this uh, masterpiece? No. Death's head should have stayed in Transformers. It's not even the same Death's head. That's like a cyborg. I know. 
But yeah, Karen Page, just a small town girl living in a lonely world. Well, she did move to New York, so. Took the midnight train. Going anywhere. Uh, but these stories just go on and on and on. <laughs> we gotta get copyright and stop it. <laughs> They're more petty than you'll ever be, trust me. Um, this one is weird. I don't this is my least favorite story, mainly because I don't care about Karen or her backstory. <laughs> And again, I don't think they ever do anything with this uh, back. Right, okay. and we never well, saw them again. <laughs> well, again, she's out of a book for many years. Yeah, and it's like... But, like, why the random Black what? Panther flashback? Like, I don't... I don't know. Someone like Black Panther. I don't... Jeez. It's not the time, bud. <laughs> anyway, yeah. The cover is at least pretty cool. Which I don't know if I would have paid fifteen cents after it went up from twelve cents, but you know. What for for fifty for uh fifty six? Yeah. Yeah. It was all right. I don't know if I. 56. These stories are wacky, bro. Well, yeah. Like I, it's just something about the year sixty nine. Every single comic is wacky as hell. There's a reason. There's a reason why you don't you know you don't hear a lot of people talking to like. Daredevil pre Frank Miller. <laughs> I mean, you can. There's. I mean, stuff. I, I mean Frank Miller penciling. Oh, okay. <laughs> yeah. Okay. True shit. True shit. For electric. <laughs> All right. Should we get the fifty-seven? Yeah, let's do it. Hey, at least this cover pays off. It's not like it's poor, a trick. Poor Roy Thomas. <laughs> I know. <laughs> Clean it up, stands messes always. <laughs> At least the cover is actually real and it's not like some gag, you know. You know, honestly, I just wish they would go, like, they, it would just be a panel from the comic. Just a little, a little sneak peek. It doesn't have to be your bait and switch. Yeah. But no, it, it's, 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 it'll happen. All right, and so then she to... fell off of a bridge. <laughs> bridge, penis, whatever. As you do. Hey, oh. <laughs> ain't my business though. <laughs> That's why Little Four is a harness. Hey, oh. all right. Uh, Daredevil number fifty. And Spurs. Whoa! <laughs> you know, so you can dig in, get a grip. <laughs> oh, cowgirl! <laughs> are you saying cowgirl, or are you saying the reverse? <laughs> Ah, love it when Charlie's not around. We can be ourselves. Wait, <laughs> no what? judgments. Wait, what? Ha ha, jocularity. Ha ha, very funny. He's like, he's like the the other Beavis and Butthead from that new special. He's just like, aha, yes, very funny. Ha ha. <laughs> yes, yeah, that's exactly what it is. All right, Daredevil number fifty-seven from October nineteen sixty-nine. Oh look, it's October. They're standing in the graveyard. They knew what they're doing. Spooky skeleton, spooky skeleton. <laughs> in the midst of life, dot, dot, dot. Man, they love their dot, dot, dots in these titles. And they do. You know, that's like a boomer thing. That's like a, like, that's like a silent generation boomer thing. Because I, I hear a lot of, like, Gen X, like, Gen Z kids complain about, like, when their bosses write them, like, emails. And it's like the ellipses. So I really do think that that's, like, one of those old school things. Yeah. No, it's in the midst of life, dot, 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 exclamation point. We'll find, life will, uh, find a way. <laughs> Speaking of terrible Jeff Goldblum. <laughs> oh, yes, yes, life will find a way. Oh. Ah, yes, it is. Like a Shadow Man classic issue. <laughs> All right, so same creative team, uh, the midst of life, being shot at by the police because they think he's Death's head. Daredevil manages to work Death's head, Steve. Ew. Uh, to veer out of the path of the oncoming bullets. Oh, hey, he's got a horse between his legs. I'll tell by. Now that, that's just taking it, be hung like a horse to the extreme. Come on now. Uh, yes. Uh, but the uh, veer him out of the path, the oncoming bullets, and make They're it. Like, throw... oh no, we killed a vigilante. <laughs> and make it throw him from its back. <laughs> oh please! They're like, oh no, don't shoot the, don't shoot the lawyer. <laughs> Whoa. Just a tip. 
What you doing over there, Chad? <laughs> Uh, so yeah, he makes the horse throw him from its back. The police realize that they were really shooting at Daredevil when they have a chance to pull off the Death's Head mask. Yeah, just throw, sprinkle some crack on him. It's like sixty nine. It's, it's sixty nine, though. They're all duly deputized officers of the law. Just sprinkle a little, little crack on him and keep it moving. What, what? <laughs> Well, in this case, Crack hasn't been invented by the government to destroy black neighborhoods just yet, so sprinkle a little cocaine on them. And I was going to say, no one's doing Crack yet, because Frank Miller's not writing the book yet, so. <sighs> oh. Man, we really got the Born Door Protocol if we can ever get a hold of him. Yeah, I'm like, I'm literally actively hunting for freaking Dido and Miller. <laughs> We're still making these jokes. <laughs> like, yeah, go ahead and sift through the 2,000 videos we have on YouTube. I dare you. Give me the, give me the, give me the views. Yeah, come on, I dare you. Uh, well, while Karen receives a call from Foggy telling her that he and Willie Lincoln are working. Not to be confused with Willie Lincoln. <laughs> uh, see, we have black friends. <laughs> the one. Who's not going to stay, stay around? Even though you live in New York. Friends. <laughs> oh, do you see the one creator, Marta Kaufman, gave a bunch you of money. You stole it from Living Single. We all know this. Go suck a dick. Whoa. Little <laughs> Hope is full hot, kid. Whoa. Sorry. Very passionate about that stuff. And why does he look like Samuel L. Jackson? <laughs> they knew. They knew. <laughs> they knew. <laughs> But, like, can we say, like, Biggie Benson is the worst gangster name I've ever heard in my life. Just, ugh. Biggie, 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 can't you see? <laughs> <sighs> it could uh, be worse. Your hero name could be, uh, y your name could be Sin Kong, Sin Kong you know. <laughs> uh, -huh. uh, so, yeah, him and Willie Lincoln are working together to shut down a criminal called Crime Wave. <laughs> How it's original. Like, I was like to say, that's like an assassin who says, Ma, what's your name? Gun. Hey, man. Somebody on Buffy, uh, on Angel, really, really resents that comment. I know. I know. <laughs> uh, Karen and Daredevil continue their search for her father, which leads them to his laboratory. Oh, with... fatherless behavior. That explains it. <laughs> oh, acting out. Yes. Oh, daddy issues. Yep. yep. <laughs> Ah, created many great porn stars. <laughs> Where Death's Head and the, and the Page Butler attack. The Butler's in Alfred, oh, what the, are you doing here? <laughs> oh, the Butler did it. The crack isn't big yet. Ask the CIA receipt. <laughs> I course corrected. <laughs> she knows. Uh... So yeah, the butler's in with Death's head. During the battle, it's revealed that the butler, Garth, was hired by the U.S. government to pose as a butler to ensure that Karen's father did not betray his country with his but secrets like, using cobalt. Just back up to Willie for, real quick. I mean, shout out to him being a real one because he takes, he finds that body and he's like trying to administer, administer first aid. Like, he's a real one. Oh, yeah. <laughs> not like these snooty, rich, white lawyers. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> Leave you for dead in a heartbeat. <laughs> uh, like, I'm not even dead. Why are you still shuffling the dirt? Shut up. <laughs> oh, God. During the confrontation, Karen's life is put in jeopardy. And Death's head sacrifices his life to save Karen's. Daredevil removes the Death's head mask to reveal that he is really... Paxton Page, Karen's father. Boo! Uh, wait a Boo! minute. Uh, wait, 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 wait. So the butler was working with Death's Head to make sure that Karen's father wasn't giving away secrets, but Death's Head was Karen's father. <sighs> Booger sugar, is that what you're saying? Make it make sense, bro. Smoke the doobie. Uh... I'm just saying it. It's like, oh, the guy who's supposed to be keeping an eye on Paxton Page is working with Death's Head, but Paxton Page is Death's Head. Listen, listen. Alfred loves to play along. He loves to play along, okay? 
What thing about a butler? They're gonna do what their what their employer wants. Oh, they're role playing. Okay. Me wow. <laughs> and of course, afterwards, Daredevil reveals to Karen that he is really Matt Murdock. And then she hit her head and got amnesia. And then she got walked out in front of a car and died. I'm saying this was modern comics. Oh, true, 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 true. <laughs> I mean, she did eventually die, but it took decades. <laughs> no, she leaves the book for a while. She's going to make me the... way too long. It took that lady to die. I know. Well, you know, she left for many years, went to Hollywood to become a star and became the wrong kind of star. I'm a star. She comes back. Of course, she gets the Frank Miller treatment. She's a, cra- she's a, she's a cracked out porn star who sells the last thing she has to the kingpin, Matt Mur- you know, Matt Murdock's identity. Ah, poor Karen. So, so is that gonna be? So is that gonna be on uh, Frank Miller's tombstone? Man, bitches betray you every time. <laughs> bitches be crazy, yo. <laughs> if his if his work has one theme, I think that's what it is. I think you read the Bible one too many times, and that's his problem. Oh. <laughs> well, you know, uh, well, Daredevil does uh, save yeah, the yeah, exactly. Spare the rod. It's Matthew Murdoch. <laughs> All right. Any other thoughts on uh, 57? <laughs> no, let's get to an actually good issue. <laughs> oh, my. All right. So Daredevil number 58 from November 1969. This freaking cover is one of my favorites. With with the stunt master? <laughs> yes. Stunt master. Take that heart, Taskmaster. It's stunt master. <laughs> stunt master. What the boys of Florida call Lil Hellfire. <laughs> Spin out on Fifth Avenue. I I dig it. <laughs> uh, uh, same creative team. Yes, yeah, spin out on Fifth Avenue. I mean, Gene Gene Cullen really put his 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 hands in this artwork. I like it. I think it's mm-hmm. really good. Oh yeah. I think it was like finally we're not doing another Matt Murdock's dead story. <laughs> yeah, sometimes probably like his later work. Sometimes I'm like a little cold on Gene Cullen art, but yeah, like this era. Yeah, no, he's he's bringing it down. He had fun with this issue. You can just really tell. Oh, yeah. They uh, actually gave him something to work with, to be fair, not just another graveyard. <laughs> exactly. Matt Murdock has just finished making his closing argument in a court case against one of the minions of not the crime Not those box. minions. <laughs> Did you Stunt actually Matt. take Luca to see that, by the way? Yes. Yeah, yeah. Was it good? He loved it. He laughed through the whole thing. Yeah, it's 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 funny. Yeah. Uh, absolutely should be a Ghost Rider villain. I believe he did encounter Ghost Rider or Johnny Blaze early on, I believe. And we never saw him again. <laughs> trying to remember if he died or not. Because not only Stuntmaster, but I believe Karen Page also uh, resurfaces with Johnny Blaze for a while. I mean, don't they all? Hey, oh. Hey, lovable dirtbag. Little hell. Exactly. <laughs> <gasps> she has a type just like you. <laughs> Matt Murdock, Johnny Blaze. Oh my god. Lovable dirt bags. Uh, so yeah, after he finishes his arguments, uh, closing argument in a court case against the minions of the cri- crime boss known as Crime Wave, his first job as special assistant to the district attorney. Ah, oh, nepotism. <sighs> after the jury goes to deliberate the verdict, Matt reflects back to the events that led to this turn of events. Flashing back to the night he revealed his identity to Karen Page, he proposed to her and she accepted. Returning to New York, Matt revealed that he survived the plane crash that apparently took his life, making up a fake story for the press and being appointed special assistant to the DA. (sighs) Clean up that mess. All right. Uh... (laughs) <laughs> Matt promises to Karen that after making an appearance at the United Fund Parade, he would be retiring his identity of Daredevil for good so that Karen wouldn't... I will be Daredevil no more forever! <laughs> hey, man, if there's one thing that get him to quit... who tang Uh, no. Be classy, Lil. Superior puss! Got the porn star before she was a porn star. Uh, I don't know if that's better or worse. I guess it depends on who you are. I mean, uh, but let's be honest. Daredevil made quick work or something, Master. Like, it's not even funny how quickly Stuntmaster gets I taken know. out. I know. 
I was about to say, love, have you ever slept with a porn star? Those records are sealed, sir. <laughs> oh! I'm gonna go ahead and plead the fifth. Male or female? I'm gonna plead the fifth. <laughs> I think that's both, kids. <laughs> I, 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 I wouldn't believe that's both, kids. <laughs> Okay, this might be a little too too much information, but I'll just put it to you this way. I lived in Las Vegas in the year of 2008. <laughs> if you know, you know. Oh, my. Oh, my. <laughs> if you know, you know. And that's enough. <laughs> that's not an autograph. <laughs> that's Matt a permanent make... souvenir. <laughs> oh, my. <laughs> Matt would make a killing in sex work, says Chad. You get a vibrating hand. <laughs> With his senses? Yeah, man. Can read the human body. I'm telling you. Uh, He'd have to wear goggles, clearly. <laughs> wearing them blind man glasses. Whoa. <laughs> I mean, he's already wearing them blind man glasses. Um, however. Hope he before... knows how to swim. <laughs> Whoa, blindfold. <gasps> yes, Red Room of Pain! <laughs> the blind boxer. Oh, God. Uh, I'm sure, I'm, you know what, I'm going to go check fanfiction.net real quick. I'll be right back. AKA Will's hard drive. You know, uh, honestly, I don't have any Daredevil. I can, I can confidently say that I don't have any Daredevil related porn of yeah. any sorts. Yes. And now I'm going to go look for some. <laughs> However, before Daredevil can announce his retirement, the parade is interrupted when it's attacked by the stunt master, a washed up stunt motorcyclist who is hired by well, crime. Him and Mysterio are best friends. Hashtag change my mind. I'm going to need a reboot of this character. And that's oh exactly my God. the backstory. That's what, we, that's what we need. A I told you Mysterio needs his own book. I loved what they did oh, with him in, in Mary no, Jane's book. Yes. yes. Mysterio starts his own uh, school for fancy man villains like this. Yes. <gasps> Oh my god, yes! Dear Marvel. <laughs> we will write it. No, we'll have Will write it. Well, well he, yeah. He, we'll it's storyboard be, it, he can write it. It's going to be the three of us, but yeah, Will's name can be the official name on it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, not Mysterio, the orb. No, that's, oh, one, of the, that's one of the students, Chad. Come on. <laughs> or he's like the gym teacher or something. I don't know. <gasps> Lunch Lady Orb. Uh, oh. uh, after. <laughs> no, 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 no. You know who needs to write that book, that Mysterio book? Jed McKay. As long as he can keep quality on the rest of the books and it won't distract him, go ahead. <laughs> uh. Go ahead and tweet that to Jed. You're like, you know Jed, what you need? Jed's like, I got 20 books. Will you want me to give me more work? Shackles, bro. It's all about the shackles. True. He's such a nice Canadian. He'd probably do it. <laughs> After quickly defeating Stuntmaster... American shackles go much further than Canadian shackles. Oh, damn bird. I mean, hey, we're like... We're beating the year, Almost beating the Euro. The Euro is worth $1.04. I'm just saying. I'm just saying. Times are bad. Exactly, Chad. That's the thought I had. Jed is such a hard on, has a hard on for background villains. Yeah, see, uh, that's, that's why I said tweet it. He'll do it eventually. <laughs> he'll put a pin in it. You know, you know, he'll throw eight ball in it just for the hell of it. Uh, I, I, yeah, I, I smell a Marco <laughs> with his robot eyes. <laughs> with his new robot eyes. After quickly defeating Stuntmaster, yeah, when asked what his special announcement was by Foggy, Daredevil says it was nothing. Which upset Karen to the point that she walked away from the scene. Returning to the present, the jury finds the crook working for crime for crime wave guilty. Although it's a victory for You're Matt, you are going to jail. It's a victory for Matt. Karen is still mad at him for not retiring his daredevil identity as he promised. It's never gonna work. It's never gonna work. It's never gonna work, Karen. Ladies, no, try to change them. They're never gonna change. Fundamentally broken, bro. Sorry, I ain't got time for it. Seriously. All right, so any other thoughts or should we get to the last one? Let's get to 59. Uh, Damn yeah. you, Daredevil, for not starting back when everybody else did. Damn yeah. you. Dan, you should have started in 63, not 64. 
All right, so yes, Daredevil number 50 mo- uh, 59 from December 1969. The What's torpe- up with all this death, bro? Like, Oh, my God. The title, The Torpedo Will Get You If You Don't Watch Out. The Matt Murdock story. <laughs> oh. <laughs> the torpedo's gonna get you. Gonna, gonna get you. Uh, uh, same creative team. You know, I would call myself a uh, crime wave if my name was Mason Hollis as well. That's a lame name. Why? It's not alliterate. It's not alliterative. <laughs> Even worse. Even worse. Ah, uh, true. Stopping a protection shakedown, Daredevil finds that the store, like many people in the city, are so afraid of crime wave that they suddenly forget that they were being roughed up when the police arrived. And I love it. There's such a big crime wave, but no other superhero. You don't see Spider-Man doing jack about it or anything. Well, first of all, Daredevil's in Hell's Kitchen. Mm. He's out there in Queens. You know, it's he doesn't want to have to do the whole commuting thing. So he's just minding his business in Queens. Like, I I get it. You want to stay in your borough. I get it. And again, it could be worse. You could live in Staten. And again, remember, this is December 69. So Prowler's throwing him out the window at the moment. So. Also, all the all the uh, villains are going to get away because it's Christmas time. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> a lonely villain on Christmas. There's your South Park joke, though. Instead of the lonely Jew, the lonely Just villain. Just a poor name without a lonely... Oh, my. Um... You know what? Some villain names, I guess, could be porn names, you know. The Hard Master. Red Tornado. Whoa! The Hard Master. A uh, couple of balls down the gob. It's not as innocent as you think, kids. Uh, returning back to the DA's office as Matt Murdock, he joins Foggy, Willie, and Karen in the... Con- Talk sure, about porn kill names. the black guy. It's fine. Talk about porn names. Foggy, Willie, and Karen in their continued quest to bust crime wave. Karen is still Karen is still mad, as all Karens are, at Matt for not retiring his Daredevil identity. Karen living up to her name. No, I, I mean, I kind of, like, if I was a naggy bitch, I would totally be on Karen's side. <gasps> oh. Like, that's the thing about love interests in comic books, especially written around this time. It's just, like, it's reasonable, bro. Like... Stop being so selfish. He's actually trying to be selfless. Yeah. By, you know, protecting and keeping the world safe. And here you are just nagging. Like, jeez Louise. Well, that's that's always the problem. All the women come off as naggy because in these days, they're like... They yeah, are, they were. I, to be fair, if you've ever seen... Well, they kind of have life, to be because they weren't painting the heroes as... Real you know, people, they always wanted to paint yeah. the heroes as more heroic in this era. So it's like, well, they can't be the, you know, the one being... Being the uh, even though they're totally in the wrong one. at the same time too, he broke his promise to her. But so exactly, like, hey, he's a superhero. What are you gonna do? It's kind of like the Lois Lane conundrum. It's like exactly, there's a crime wave. So what? Eat this dinner. So... I have to stop it. Hey, whoa, whoa. Oh, jeez. Uh, Willie really, really reveals that the. That he earlier traveled to a local bar where he, who's this loaf? Where he had previously heard of Crime Wave. What's while there, while there, he accidentally stumbled upon the secret base of Crime Wave. Well, it's not a very secret base, Hale. <laughs> it was so easily found. Just tripped and found it. I know. And managed to get out by pretending to be a blind homeless man who would not be a threat to their security. Pulling the old Matt Murdock, I see. <laughs> When the story hits the paper that Willie was a cop willing to testify and news reaches crime wave, he sends his costumed assassin, the torpedo, to kill Lincoln. Torpedo. Yeah. Uh, Now that's a poor name, Chad. (laughs) Daredevil interrupts the assassination attempt and the two costumed beings fight each other through the hotel building being used for witness protection. Their fight taking them to the roof, Daredevil is knocked over the edge and is holding on for dear life, while forced to push Torpedo off the building to his death in order to save Daredevil's life. Oh, Willie is forced to That's alright, he's a bad guy. 
I mean, I have, you know, I have no objections with the, you know, heroes, I know, hanging from hang the people. bat plane. I know, I know. Hang them high! Crush them low. <laughs> now, that is your trademark. <laughs> Work, working on a new catchphrase for a t shirt for sure. I'm workshopping it. Fellas, let me know what you think. It has to be one of the drops. Come on. You have iconic drops, Little Hellfire. And I do. <laughs> I think I, th- I think these hands are ready to for everyone. That that's gonna be the one for the, the rest of this year. I don't know. Muffin getting buttered, superior puss. We got said. See, see, th- those are fine, but they don't really capture who I am at this particular point in my life. But you wouldn't even put your real face on his shirt. I know if I asked Charlie Esser, man, I'll get. He'd put his whole bodily impression on. Twenty shirt. glamour shots of Charlie Esser if I asked for. It. Oh my God, she had. Dude tripped and fell into torpe- torpedoing the story. That's the point. That's the joke. We're done. Waka waka waka. You know how many, you know how many uh, times Matt's used that excuse with Karen? Yeah, I tripped and fell into it. <laughs> He's the only guy that can get away with that excuse. <gasps> Why were you thrusting, though? Wow. It was cold. I was trying to get up. <laughs> It was very slippery. You know what they say. Slippery when wet. <laughs> oh, my. I'm sorry, dear. Now I want to go listen to White Snake. God damn it. Oh, my. No, I thought it was my... I, thought, I swear, I thought it was my walking stick, dear. <laughs> uh, so what did you think of these? I mean... We I mean, mean, this one was starting to get a little more serious, but, like, literally every single story that we've read from across the board, both companies. Oh, my God. shenanigans. And just, like, the gymnastics, like, Karen had to go through when she, like, found out he was Matt Murdock. She's like, wait a minute. Is he... Okay, so, yeah, you were Mike Murdock. You faked your death. Uh, why, are you th- why do you pretend to be blind? I don't pretend. <laughs> it's like, wait a minute. You're really blind? <laughs> Thank God. I would have stopped undressing in front of you. It's like all the women in Superman's life. Why do I have breast cancer? Oh. He's getting, using that special x-ray vision. Breast, ca- breast cancer and ass cancer. The women aren't supposed to have prostate cancer. What's going on here? Oh, God. Dan Zig. I knew he was going there. <laughs> That's right, Lil. Try dancing because it is 1994. Oh, man. <sighs> so I think Spider Man finished off stronger Wait, than here. Did he direct a movie? Is that the guy you guys are talking about? There was. You don't know the music of dancing? <laughs> nah. Nah. Well, again, like I say, I know like, <laughs> dancing from. I had a friend who listened to Danzig in the 90s. Uh, God's 93. What? God's 93. Danzig is hot. No. Oh, my. Okay, Charlie. Yes, sir. <laughs> That's funny. Oh, my God. But, yeah. Some of the- Charlie Esser is hilarious. <laughs> Uh, he directed a bunch yeah, of Yeah, I films. know his movies. I don't know his music. I didn't know he did music. Oh, my. Welcome. I, too, am a connoisseur of terrible, shitty movies, so. <laughs> and you bought the D on this podcast standing for Daredevil, huh? <laughs> <laughs> don't get felony ideas. I will be gone for a month. <laughs> uh Again, again, if we're looking for a different show, we can always be like have get guest on every time and be like, "So, what crap were you into?" I mean, I'm pretty much doing that with Rob Southgate. I was about to say, yeah, that, yeah, that's called the third best Southgate. Touche. Um, yeah, like I don't know, '69 was not a good year for comics. I don't think. I think Spider Man was there better than Daredevil. Well, well, yeah. Water okay. makes things wet, baby doll. You know. <laughs> Well, yeah, they put. Stan was like, I don't have time for this Daredevil, man. I gotta write some tablets. He just was like, you know what? I don't care. I'm just gonna leave you to fix it. He looked about a cliffhanger. He's like, you know what? I gotta write some tablet stories, kid. (laughs) Even those weren't that great. Like, let's be honest. They were so better than this, though. I don't know what did the Star Saxon crap. Uh, Roy will figure it out. Give it to Roy. Roy, take this. You know, 
Roy, young, take the wheel. <laughs> young JR, JR just gave me an idea for a new character. <laughs> Honestly, though. Oh, my God. But, yeah, I mean, it could be worse. It could be DC yeah. stuff. Wait, what? I don't know what you mean. I don't know what's going on. I have no idea either. Put the doobie down, Chad. What, did he want somebody to catch hands? Like, let me know. Just let me know. Uh, trans exclusionist podcast? <laughs> Hey, Everybody's if, welcome here. So, hey, if you didn't watch uh, Capes and Lunatics two sixty nine uh, last night on uh, YouTube, yeah, uh, it's Charlie, like all are welcome here. So I don't know. <laughs> Char Charlie Esser is curious. So. Stay curious, my friends. If anyone's looking for a bear, so, get a parking ticket. <laughs> you have oh to go my. back and listen. Oh my god! If that tar parking ticket, uh, yeah, you have this to whole life could be tonight. different. Oh my god, for for one parking ticket, Tristan Esser, Esser might never have been born. <laughs> That's so funny. Oh my god. All right, so anything else will fire. Well, if we ever lived in a timeline where St. Patty's Day wasn't a thing, I wouldn't be born either. It's fine. <gasps> oh my! <laughs> Shout out to all my Sagittarius babies. <laughs> Uh, all right, kids. So, what's the homework? Oh, that's right, homework. Oh, that's right. There's lots of fun work. work. I mean, fun work. <laughs> oh my! Yeah, we'll need to go and get some of that fun work. Hey, oh, uh, Daredevil. It's mimosa time. So yeah. <laughs> oh yeah, it is after twelve. I podcast. Long enough for it to become mimosa time. I love it here. <laughs> She's like, thank you, Rob Southgate. <laughs> All right, so yeah, summer of '69 is over. Uh, womp, womp. <laughs> well, come on. All it's right, always, it's always summer of '69 here, Phil. All right, so in August we're gonna get a rare three D Devil, you knows, because there's like an extra uh, week in there, so. The first two weeks, we'll be doing some She-Hulk team-ups. Uh, I wonder why. Uh, week one, She-Hulk number four from 2014. Week two, She-Hulk eight through ten from 2014. Oh. And then we'll round out the month because this will be the Chichester chat for September, which if Lilith misses it, so we at least her and I can talk about it. Uh, yes, the last... The last uh, episode of August will be Daredevil 312 and 313. Okay, yeah, I'm not going to miss the Chichester chat, so don't worry about that. Oh, okay, okay. <laughs> She's as like, long as it's more towards the middle of September, we should be fine. The middle? <laughs> okay. She's like, I'll be here for Chichester. We'll see about Southgate. <laughs> All right, so yeah, kids, there's your homework. Two She-Hulk episodes and then a uh, some Chai Chester, which will, which will then be discussed with him afterwards. <laughs> Wolf and I will do our prep on air. <laughs> <laughs> Two birds, one stone. <laughs> Bird. All right, kids, so yes, yeah, send us your thoughts. Email us, capesandlunatics at gmail.com or call the voicemail, 614-382-2737. That's 614-38-CAPES. And remember, you can find the devil you know, <gasps> the, the Daredevil Podcast. Suck it. You know, I've been thinking, Phil, a lot of lunatics, not a lot of capes. What's going on? Are you talking about the hosts or the shows? Both. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> well, host-wise, we have Kristen. Uh, what, what do you think that's for? One out of, like, six, seven. <laughs> I know. I think we've corrupted Will already. Uh, well, Hal Jordan is his favorite character, so ah, enough true. Set, enough said on that one. Didn't take much. Yeah, yeah. All right, kids. Oh yeah, like again, again. Will's taking much of September off, so stay tuned for some specials because September the boys go crazy. <laughs> that's right. Gonna get a lot of uh, 
special guest star hosts. And uh, yes, there will be no DW No in September, but there will be two episodes of a Wonder Man podcast hosted by Wonder, myself. Wonder, Wonder Man! Hosted by myself, Ray, Justin the Owl Osgood, and perhaps the aforementioned Mr. Will Allred. So. Sausage Sauce, Fest. All sausage, all sausage Fest all the time. <laughs> oh, power Sausage Fest. That's right. All right, kids. So, yes. Yeah, so, uh, stay tuned for that. Follow the DW No on all social media. Follow, follow all the shows we do. Uh, and the YouTube channel. Everything we do, including this. Uh, creator interviews. Everything goes on YouTube. So, smash that subscribe button so you don't miss a second of any anything we do. Is that a hot dog? Because they don't have sausage. Hey oh, oh yeah, do uh, a chat. Crank fritter, you say? Chad, I don't know if you've heard uh, Ray's new nickname around these parts. Uh, the high priest of sausage. Sausage. The fists of sausage. Wow, it's fine having a sausage fest. Talking about meat, so natural for Lilith. Oh my. I learned it from you, Ray! Because uh, Ray likes it hard. <laughs> oh, you kids. I believe it. Oh, <laughs> spreading propaganda all over the internet. I love it. All right, kids. Take so, yeah. that, you Moon Knight nerd. <laughs> oh! Obvious. Sad enough, we do have a drop for that. Fight me, Moon Knight nerd. <laughs> All right, kids. So, yes. Uh, and, of course, subscribe to the Patreon. Again, a labor of love. We're paying for this out of our own pocket. Three to five dollars. We can't but, fake our death to get a tax break, so please help. That's right. So, it's three to five dollars gets you access, early access to creator inter interviews, including the monthly Chichester chat with Mr. DG Chichester himself. I got the good mic out for you guys. And that wasn't enough. Superhero movie brackets, because Lilith loves man pain. Don't worry, I'm I, I'm I'm suffering a little too on the inside. Don't worry. I will. And we will find the worst superhero movie of all time, the July episode, uh, Catwoman, Halle Berry's Catwoman versus Ryan Reynolds' Green Lantern. Me, Lilith, Charlie, and Kristen will be joined by Hal Jordan fanboy himself, Mr. Will Allred. I, of course, love Hal Jordan. More man pain for Lilith Hellfire. I, I live on it. I thrive on it. It's what she craves. And if that's not enough, pick yourself up some. Uh, the only and... salty discharge I approve of, man tears. Whoa, whoa! Oh, that's right, because she does not do Twinkies or toaster strudels. I don't do Twinkies or toaster strudels, so. But kick yourself up some fancy capes of whatever you're drinking. Save drink a life, up. take a life. Whatever Trust you're drinking, yours. whatever you're drinking, man tears, whatever. Put it in your capes of lunatics cup. Buy that all, all of that at Linktree l a n k t r dot e e slash capes and lunatics. Everything is in the show notes, including. Our cash app link. So, if you want to make it, just make it rain. Make it rain, kids. Make or it make rain. it hail. We take change too. It's fine. Oh my. Make it rain. That's why the stripper's walking funny. Make it rain. All right, little of Hellfire. Where can people talk to you about sixty nine? Summer sixty nine is over, but if you want to catch these hands and catch the fade on the internet. Find me on Twitter at Lil Hellfire, on Instagram at Lil Hellfire69, and of course on TikTok, making all the comments and maybe one day some content. Maybe sometime soon. I don't know. Give me the 666 and find out. At Lil Hellfire69. Hell. Either do the six or do the nine. Come on. Get your head out of your butt, buddy. That's the name uh, of the podcast. That's it. That's all. Holds me down. Don't get fingered. Power of the penis. Let me get a ride on your alligator back, bro. Somebody Florida knows. woman. That ain't my business. I can do this all day. I don't know whether to be excited or horny or both. Las Vegas. <laughs> I'm always, I'm always angry. <laughs> That's my secret cap. I'm always for. <laughs> Thank you for joining us, kids. Again, come back in two weeks. We're going to be starting uh, two episodes of She-Hulk. I wonder why. I don't set the schedule. Disney Plus sets the schedule. The House of Mouse, indeed. <sighs> Can't wait to see that show. That's going to be something. 
Maybe maybe if it gets to season two, they'll give her bigger muscles. Why? Maybe in season two, they'll give her bigger muscles. Oh, maybe. Oh, and we should be getting a Daredevil show again soon. Who knows when, but... <laughs> Oh, I do follow the kingpin. <laughs> we already did that. It's called the Hawaiian shirt scene. Oh, <sighs> come on. Get Chichester a shekel. <laughs> All right. Oh, put his name in the credits. All right, kids. Again, join us next time in two weeks. And remember, it's better to be with the devil you know. Than the, than devil the devil you don't. Third, be with the devil you know. Look to my right. <laughs>